4 Knights game, Scotch variation accepted, 5.nxd4bb46.nxc6bxc67.bd3d58.xt5cxd59.000. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. Nc6 defends the pawn on e5, advances the knight toward the center, and scans the d4 square. In the scotch game, d4 gains space in the center and attacks the e5 square twice. x4 opens up the center, and is somewhat forced given that white was attacking the pawn twice, and protecting with d6 doesn't work out. nx d4 recaptures the pawn and centralizes the knight. nf6 advances the knight and engages in an attack on the exposed e4 pawn. Nc3 develops the knight toward the center, supports the e4 pawn and controls the d5 square. Bb4 develops the bishop and pins the knight on c3 to the king. Nxc6 captures a knight and forces black to double their c pawns. Bxc6 captures the knight, controls the d5 square and opens up the b file. Bd3 develops the bishop toward the center, defends the e4 pawn and prepares castling. The pawn on d5 attacks the e4 square and occupies the center c4 square. x5 captures the d5 pawn, opens up the diagonal for the light squared bishop and attacks the c6 pawn. cx d5 recaptures the pawn, undoubles black c pawns and controls the e4 square. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is the last book move. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is ideal. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. It is quite good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. That's good. Backs off. It is ideal. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is excellent. This misses an opportunity to move a queen to safety. It is an inaccuracy. Recaptures. It is ideal. This defends the attacked pawn. It is good. There were worse moves but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. A solid choice. It is excellent. That is a logical response. It is quite good. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is quite good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This threatens to attack a trapped bishop. It is excellent. This makes it impossible for the adversary to assault a trapped bishop. It is quite good. This strikes at the center with a pawn, fighting for space. It is excellent. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This is an equal trade. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. This confines the opponent's king while also moving a rook to the seventh rank, activating it. It is ideal. This wins a tempo by threatening a rook and forcing it to move away. It is best. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. It is best. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. A very strong play. It is excellent. That pawn's capture grants you material. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This places a rook on the seventh rank, activating it and putting the other side's king under pressure. 
it is quite good. This allows the knight to control more squares. It is best. This captures a vulnerable pawn. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. Recaptures. Black is equal at this point in the end game. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. This strikes a rival rook. It is ideal. The rook is now in a safe position. It is ideal. A pawn kicks the opposing rook, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is quite good. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. In the end game, an active king is essential, and removing it from the rear rank is the first step. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. A solid choice. It is excellent. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This defends the attacked rook. It is best. Very precise. It is best. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. As a result, the rooks are placed in a single file and are able to cooperate to pose a danger. It is ideal. The rooks are coordinated and powerfully doubled on the file. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game.